Just like that, you have cryptocurrency price data from the Glassnode API, three easy steps. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Gitbags, and today we're going to be downloading cryptocurrency price data from the Glassnode API in Python in three easy steps. First, we're going to get our API key, then we're going to make our query, and then we're going to send the query and pull the data down, and then we're just going to quickly make a chart, but you can do whatever you want. The data is yours. Don't let me stop you. All right, first thing, go ahead and open up your Google search glass node API docs. And then here we can click in the first one, pull it in documentation. And then here, click under API key. And we're gonna just pause here, familiarize ourselves with the script real quick. So you can scroll down here and in Python, you can just copy this whole section and then you can paste it in your script. But I also have a script here for you. You can just go to my GitHub in the description and pull all this code. All right, so first thing we got here is our import modules. So we're just gonna import some of these as they have in the docs and then I've imported these plotly items so that we can just quickly make a chart and then here is where I import my API key so you can't see it but what you're gonna want to do is paste your API key right here so to get your API key let's go back over to the glass node documentation so if you just scroll up to the top here it says to get your API head into the studio so let's click in there and then if you pull this menu down right here you can see right here there's this API button so click in there and then that'll take you to this page here and then you can generate your API key by clicking generate. So just go ahead and copy that. And then you can just go ahead and paste that directly in your script right here. So that's really easy. Step number one, we got that out of the way. Next, we're going to make a request to the API. So this is the request to get the price data. And I'll show you how to find this in the documentation. So I'm going to do another video that has more endpoints, but we're just going to be checking out price. So if we go to the search bar here, we can just search price and then click under price and then here's our endpoint and so this says it brings us our candlestick data and then it has the required parameters here which are string um, but then you can also include a date range as well as an interval for the bar the bar width essentially your one hour or 24 hours so if you copy this then you can go ahead and paste this directly in your script under the query but it also shows here all the different assets that you can use to get price data so you can basically just copy any of these symbols here and then use them as your a parameter which we'll check that out right now so you can go ahead and just paste your link right in here that's going to give us our open high low close data and then here in our parameters which we can read in the documentations is the asset so we have a btc and then you're also putting your api key here and then your interval here so i'll just need to change this out real quick so now this should work for me but if you're using it you could just have your api key right here so i've also included a one hour request where you can get the one hour bars but that request is a little bit large has about 10,000 entries okay so this should be fairly straightforward we can actually just run this and see what happens so I went ahead and ran that of course I wasn't in the right working directory but here we are if we type res we're gonna be able to see our response and our response went through as a 200 so that'll be good and then what we see here in this next part is we're just gonna convert that to a data frame so this pandas read JSON it's gonna read the text that's in our response it's gonna convert the dates so it's gonna read the dates and infer the date time format and then that's going to convert the dates for us so went ahead and ran that and we can see that it returns back a data frame it has t which is our time and then o which is our candles but it looks like there's dictionaries so we're going to just quickly rename the columns here and then we're going to set the index right below and then we'll take a look at what it looks like right quick so it's a bit easier to understand we have our date as the index now we have our candles here but still this dictionary is a bit messy so this next piece of code what that's going to do is just turn all of our candle dictionaries into individual series but quickly let's just take a look at what one of the dictionaries looks like we can see here it's got the closed data the high the low the open but what we want is individual columns in our data frame so this next piece of code right here that's just going to turn all of those dictionaries into columns so we can check that out real quick and it looks like nice and neat we've got our close high low open not in any particular order but then what we can do next is just quickly come here rename the columns and then that's going to give us a really beautiful looking data frame that's super easy to access the columns here and very legible so the next all we want to do here is we're going to just quickly come down and we're going to go ahead and create a candlestick chart that's going to open in a separate window here and then bang you can see we got all of our crypto data right here it's got a nice little slider and you know what i feel like i'm about to be the master of the blockchain or something Bruh. just like that you have cryptocurrency price data from the glass node api three easy steps
watch out for those red candles fam the markets are getting pretty crazy out here if you want to support me you can always buy me a coffee subscribe to the channel send me a like let me know what you think in the comments you have my blessing fam let's go get these bags